Hey guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to a very cold episode of Tactical Bassin. It is freezing tonight in Tim's man cave. We're still in flip-flops, don't know if you can see that, but it is cold, man. Because it's so cold, we are going to talk about winter fishing. Uh, we did not dress appropriately to talk to the camera, but we love you guys, so we're going to do it anyway. Uh, we're going to talk about both ends of the spectrum. You know, we're very blessed to still live on a fishery that even though the water's cold down in the low 40s right now, the fish will still bite. We can have a really good winter pattern going. Uh, but a lot of people don't have that. You know, a lot of people, they have hard water. Uh, but a lot of other people have shallow water, you know, pond guys or just shallow water fisheries in general. When those temps get really, really low, it gets hard to catch those fish. So what we thought we'd do is we'd talk about the two ends of the spectrum because there are two very different approaches to catching those, those cold, cold water fish. Uh, I'll jump into it first if you don't mind. We're going to do a little bit different today. Tim's going to talk about the big baits. I'm going to talk about this tiny stuff. Uh, those are the two ends of the spectrum. The, the approach if you just want to catch fish. In the winter, it's not always easy to catch anything at all. So you really want to downsize fish ultra slow and focus on just getting bit and you'll be surprised sometimes it's still the big ones that that eat even these tiny little baits but i've got three baits for you that i think will uh will really make a difference for you as you focus on fishing this cold cold water this winter uh the first one is the senko regular five inch yamamoto senko uh this time of year typically fish it weightless and wacky uh, down in the video description, like always, we're going to give you links to the hook that we use for that, the rods we use, all that stuff. So don't worry about that. It's down there. Uh, but I like to fish it wacky. And the reason why is that I can fish it ultra, ultra slow and I can just bump it, just barely bump it and still get action out of that bait. I don't have to really pull it to get action. Uh, so I can just let it sit totally idle and a little bump, get a little bit of flutter out of it back to bottom, a little bump. So that's the first one. Second one, and I'm almost embarrassed to say it, is the drop shot. Uh, it works in winter. We all know it works in winter. Tim and I don't talk about drop shot a lot, but let's be real. We do it. I do it a lot. Uh, I have an entire row of drop shot rods. I mean, let's be real. We do drop shot. Uh, the way that I like to drop shot in winter is, again, ultra, ultra slow. I run a short leader. Like, a, from my weight to my hook is... 10 to 12 inches, something like that. And I let that bait literally sit on bottom. This is my favorite bait for it. Uh, the Dream Shot, either, uh, what color is that? Help me out here, I'm, that's Morning color. Dawn. Morning Dawn or Green Pumpkin, that's my other favorite. Uh, but I like to fish them ultra, there's Green Pumpkin. That's, no, that's KVD Magic, that's a good color too. That is a good color too. But it's not the one I'm talking about, you're killing me. No, in all seriousness, Whatever your favorite color is, pick that up. But the Dream Shot is a bait that, again, I can get a lot of action out of with very, very little movement. So about a 10-inch leader, and I literally let it lay dead on bottom, completely dead sticked. And then all I do is just pick it up and then slack it again. So that bait, almost like a Senko, it just stands up and then just sort of flutters down on its own. Uh, no action at all. I'm not working that drop shot like we would other times of the year. Just pick it up and then slack it out. Pick it up, slack it out. That's it. The last one, the Ned Rig. Uh, again, a bait where I'm like, man, I can't believe I'm going to talk about this on camera. But it, seriously, if you want to get bit in the wintertime, one of your two best approaches is ultra small. The Ned mm. Rig, if you're not familiar with that, is a very, very small stick bait. You fish that on a mushroom style head. And it's basically a dead stick bait. Uh, it stands up on the bottom and you basically just let her sit. And then just a little bit of movement, let it sit. A little bit of movement, 
I don't know why fish are all about it, but if you just need to get bit, man, it works. You can't deny it. So I hope that helps you guys. Normally we're preaching big, 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 and Tim's about to do that. But in the winter time, you cannot deny those tiny, tiny baits to get bit and still to get some really big bites. Turn it over to you. Cool, man. Yeah, that's probably like a seven minute video that I haven't said a word yet. But awesome. anyways, the opposite end of the spectrum is going to be the big baits. And you know, Matt and I, we've talked about a lot of big baits in our other videos. But uh, today, two of the ones I want to talk to you guys about, uh, the big Bastrix, the seven inch Bastrix, and the eight inch little creeper trash fish. Now the reason that these two baits are important, you gotta remember in the winter time, these cold water months, the fish, the fish are super lethargic. So you wanna, you wanna go with a big bait because fish are not gonna be moving around hunting a lot of fish. They, they see a big profile, big presentation, it makes them more apt to eat that um, versus soaking a little bait in front of their face. But the important thing with these baits is that you can get a big bait that no matter how slow you work it, you get action out of the bait. Right. You know, you want a little bit of tail kick, a little bit of fin movement. Um, you might even want to drop down your equipment to a, a 5.1 gear ratio reel. Because what I tell people, if you think you're going too slow, go slower. I mean, you want these big baits in front of their face for a long time, a little bit of movement, and uh, you can catch some giant, giant fish in the wintertime. But yeah, uh, you can go down to five to one gear ratio reel and just creep these baits and uh, the big the big bass, I mean, even little bass still eat big baits in the wintertime. So you're not throwing little tiny, you know, uh, stick baits or, or that sort of thing. But, you know, these big fish in the wintertime still have to eat. So you actually have, I mean, I don't even know how many big fish we've caught in the wintertime, but <laughs> a lot, um, they still eat the big baits. So... You know, I, again, it's not super descriptive about the baits or rigging or anything. We'll put all that in the description. What hook do you throw on that? This is actually the owner beast hook. Go with the big beast hook. Um, that works on both both baits. Uh, it's weedless, so when you are creeping it on the bottom, you don't get hung up as often. You can go with a jig style head if you want, but uh, I like the I like the weedless presentation. Um, it just works good for me. So. Yeah, for that ultra slow. Yeah. So just to wrap it up for you guys, both of these methods are deadly in the winter time. When you go out and that water is frigid, you're not trying to get 50 bites a day. So the concept is you can go with the really small baits if you wanna try and catch some fish. You might get three, four, five, 10 bites a day, something like that on a lot of fisheries. Uh, you go with the giant bait, ultra slow and i mean tim's telling you slow he means slow you still probably are not grasping how slow we're talking about Pain, painfully slow. painfully slow turning the handle you're looking at what one two three bites a day maybe right. but if you're getting five bites a day on a tiny bait versus three bites a day on a giant bait it's a no-brainer but both methods work don't focus in the middle this winter don't try and throw your normal 4-inch, 5-inch, 6-inch baits. Don't throw your confidence stuff, wonder why they're not eating it. Go to one end of the spectrum or the other, you're going to see more success. Anything you want to add to that? No, guys, just stay confident. Stay confident. You know, if you're a bank fisherman or a boat fisherman, stay confident in, in the process that you've worked all throughout the year and uh, just wait and be ready for those bites because... Throwing the big baits, you don't want to not be ready and, and right. set the hook and pound them. But uh, anyways, guys, again, hope this video helps. You know, unfortunately, there's a lot of guys back east that can't. They're fishing through ice and stuff. But uh, but if you can get out on the water, do some fishing, try some of these baits. Everything will be down in the video description. And uh, hopefully, you guys stick some giant bass. But again, thanks for the support. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and we'll talk to you soon, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.